All right, folks, let me show you the rigging that we're using today to catch these big Chinook salmon. First off, what we got here is a Pro Troll 11 inch flasher with agitator and e chip. Now, the significance of the agitator, guys, this is something that's new in the flasher industry. What it enables us to do is go at a slower speed. The problem with flashers in the past is that didn't have this, they all had the same basic shape and they're caused that makes them rotate. But what's happened is you always had to go two five, two seven, sometimes three miles an hour to get them make that full loop, making the full loop. With the agitator on there, what it's enabling us to do is slow our speed down. Anytime you can go slower, you're going to catch more fish as long as you're still having the same action. So look for the Pro Tro flasher with e chip, and that e chip just ticks. It's just a nice little sound coming off of there. But that agitator to me is the biggest thing because now I can go slower and it's making it loop. Now back to the business end of this. What we've got is a Brad's, this is Mountain Dew color, Brad's Super Cut Plug. The one thing I got to tell you to do, don't use the standard setup out of the package. You can use the hook and you can use the bead chains, all perfect. The monofilament, 40 pound mono. The thing I don't like about pre-made guys is I don't know what kind of knots were tied and I don't know what kind of line I'm using. What we do is switch them all out. 25 pound test, we're using a good fluorocarbon, polymer knots. This is a 60 inch liter stock. When I'm trolling for salmon guys, especially Chinook, I go six feet, 72 inch liter. So that's what I do right out of the box. Get rid of this existing stuff, tie on my own. I know what it's made out of. I know the knots are tied right. Now, what you're gonna find guys with this is the back hook here. Now, we haven't had any issues with the back hook. Some people, if you have your drag switched down really tight and you really get to reefing on a fish, or you're fishing in tight quarters, our quarters weren't that tight on this trip. We could back our drags off and let the fish do what they needed to. But what you may find sometimes with the hooks that come factory, you may start to get them to straighten out. Now, like I said, I didn't have an issue with this because we weren't combat fishing. I've been in situations where there's boats right on top of you where I would take this guy here and put a super, uh, a two strong, super strong, but it's two extra strength treble hook in red. That just beefs up the size of that guy. Now, I don't like to run the red if I don't have to. Red's a great color. I like to run this stock color here because it just kind of blends in. But if you're getting in a situation where you know you're gonna be combat fishing, change that hook out, go to that two extra strong, put a good gammy on there. That way you can cinch the drag down. You're not gonna straighten those hooks out. Other than that, guys, that's all we're doing. Very simple. 